So here is a modified origami fold. Uh, it works really well on the muslin um, half flat, not so well on the bird's eye. And that's mostly due to how it is folded. So I will show you in the muslin and just know that it doesn't work as well on the um, bird's eye half flat. So it is very, very good for putting most of the absorbency in the wet zone. That's one of the things that the um, origami is well known for. It also has the ability to make really good jelly roll legs. Um, one of the things that I like a lot about this is it also has very long wings. So if you have a whiter baby, a chunkier baby, it works very, very, very well for them. One downside is you can't really adjust the rise setting. It's set at a certain spot and you can play with it a tiny bit, but not too much. So it's not good for really, really tall babies necessarily um, with longer torsos, but it's really, really good for those that are wider. So let me show you how to do this on the muslin flat. So here is your modified origami on your half muslin flat. So first, make sure that you fold the long way first. It makes a big difference and it won't work the other direction. So you fold it the long way first, meeting up the sides. And then you fold it again in the other direction so that you end up with a long rectangle. Now you take the top flap, the top one right here, and you pull it out until you get a triangle. Make that nice and even. So it's very similar to the normal origami, except for you've got this wide zone up here and this extra long piece over here. So once you have this done, you take it and you flip it over. And then I like to stagger these end pieces so that you don't get all of it in one spot on baby. It makes it more comfortable for baby that way. So they're not all lined up one on top of the other. Then you fold in this section to make your absorbent pad. You can make it as wide as you want or as thick as you want, depending upon how you fold it. And see with it staggered, you don't have everything right here. It's more spread out in a larger area of space. And then with this top part, you fold it down. You can fold it down once, or you can fold it down three times, which is where you get a tiny little bit of play with the rise on this diaper. Not much, as I said, because there's not much difference between this right here and that right there. So the thicker is probably going to be a little bit more comfortable because of this pad right here. Then once you have it in this shape, all your absorbencies right here, you pull it up, roll in those legs, so you get a really tight jelly roll. And as you can see, it has really, really, really long wings that you can pull in on both sides. So there you have it. You can have it for a wider baby, a very wide baby. Or you can make it smaller and tuck it inside. So here is the bird's eye half flat. And to show you what I mean by it not working as well on um, this particular flat compared to the muslin, I'll do the fold again, which will also help you see the fold because it's a little bit more complex than a lot of the others. So for the origami, again, make sure to fold it the long way first. It does not work if you fold it the short way first. So fold it the long way and then fold it into quarters, making a long rectangle. Then you take the top corner, just one, and you fold it out into your triangle, like so. And if you look, there's a lot more fabric up here than there is on the muslin. And there's more fabric over here too. 
But what you're really seeing is this right here. This is the length of the majority of your rise setting, and it's not very big. I'll show you after you turn it over. And again, stagger these bits right here. It will be more comfortable for baby if you do that instead of having it all piled in one spot. You fold in your pad, however thick or thin you want, trying to get it as close to centered as you can by the time you get in the middle. So there you have that. And if you look, it's going to be not so comfortable for baby if you have this thick pad with a tiny little two layer thick pad in the back. So it really is better if you have it folded down twice because the bird's eye is really thin compared to the muslin. So it's better to have it that little bit of thickness in the back, which gives you only about six, eight inches in your rise setting, which is not very big. It will not fit most eight pounders, for example, unless your baby has a very, very short rise and no bottom. Um, it does work well for preemies though, because they're so small, they can fit into this. But for your average newborn, it may only fit for a day or two before they outgrow it because babies grow so fast. And that's one of the reasons why I don't think it's the best fold for this particular diaper. But if you have a smaller baby, go ahead and try it. It may very well work for you. If you have a larger baby, be aware that it probably won't fit very well and it won't fit for very long. So you're welcome to try it and please do if you're interested, but keep it in mind. So you pull it up and you roll in those legs and you roll in the legs. And then you've got your wings that you fold over, however wide baby happens to be. And there you have the origami half a flat fold. And again, if you have a little baby, a tiny one, try it, see if it works for you. But in general, um, it won't last very long because you can't play with the rise very much and it's a very, very short rise. So just keep that in mind. And that is your origami fold on a half muslin flat. Um, again, it doesn't work quite as well on the bird's eye because it's longer and shorter. So it ends up really, really, really small on babies. Um, you can try it, but it's not likely going to fit for very long because you can't adjust the rise. But this is about the size that it is for the muslin, which is very, very, very close to a newborn fitted size, which works great. And if you want to see other folds for these diapers, look at the comments or the notes down below and I will have links for other folds that you can do on them. And thank you for watching.